let's not talk about its impact on the education sector. It's been anxiety and joy gripping stakeholders in Nigeria's education sector. A secondary school student in terminal classes resumed for academic activities today. We go now to stay in the South-South where our correspondents report on reopening of schools and adherence to the COVID-19 protocol of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control is paramount. In River State, all state and private schools will remain short pending the announcement of a resumption date by the state government. However, Unity Schools in the capital city welcomed students back in preparation for their West African Examination Council examinations. We have about nine infrared thermometers. Three will be permanently at the gate. Three others will be here at the admin block and three others at the classroom area. Boarding students resumed on day one, while those coming from home every day are expected to return to school from tomorrow. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. In Delta State, a total of 29,525 senior secondary school three students resumed for academic activities in preparation for the West African School Certificate Examination on the 17th of August. Both private and public schools visited observed the protocol to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The state government expresses commitment to ensure strict adherence by teachers and students to the safety guidelines. I've seen a very large turnout of the teachers, all with their masks, and I can see total compliance amongst them. And you know we have trained a large number of these teachers, and I think the training we had for them has equally helped. The subject of interest is the level of preparedness of the state government to protect public health. Iken Amechi, CBC News, Asaba. In Bayelsa, public and private schools remain shut in Yenagoa, the capital city, and other parts of the state. At the Train the Trainer program at the Harold Dapabirie Conference Center, the state government commenced the distribution of scanners, face masks, and hygiene-related equipment to public and private schools to be monitored by a 10-man committee inaugurated by the governor. We are here to train key stakeholders in the school system and in the health sector. But we must continue to keep the protocols and guidelines to avoid any further spread of COVID-19. As we are prepared to reopen our schools. This train the trainer program is coming up so that we'll intensify this mind training. Let's live with the existing reality. And once we're able to do that and educate the people and enlighten them, the job becomes easier. The governments of Rivers, Delta and Bielsa states want its citizens, particularly the student populace, to brace up and accept the new normal in strict adherence to the COVID-19 protocol just as students in exit classes return to prepare for the regional examinations in West Africa. Ufiye George, TVC News, Yenagoa.